Welcome back. Well, the snow has finally subsided throughout the springs, but further south, not quite the same story. Check out on the HD Doppler right now the heavy bands of snow moving from Walsenburg down to Trinidad. That's the area that's going to see more accumulation. Speaking of accumulation, the National Weather Service has extended that winter storm warning for southern portions of the state. Now, the far northeastern corner, or excuse me, southeastern corner of the state, that warning has expired, but do keep in mind that again, we're expecting some pretty decent amounts of snow throughout Walsenburg and Trinidad. You notice that pretty much all the flurries have subsided all the way from the springs down to Pueblo. So that's not to say that that morning commute is going to be any easier than what it was tonight because we're still going to have all those remnants and snowpack all across the region. As for the accumulation this evening, as you notice, Pueblo could pick up just over a half of an inch tonight. Further down into Trinidad, just over an inch and a half is what we're expecting. I wouldn't be surprised, though, if there's areas that see more than that. You saw those real heavy bands along the HD Doppler. That's exactly kind of how things have played out over the past few days. All right, the driving force behind this, that area of low pressure that tracked in off of the South Pacific, that's what brought all the moisture up into the state, but notice as tomorrow progresses and we enter into Thursday, bright and early, well, that area of low pressure is going to start to drop down to our south, making for a fairly clear start to the day. We'll see a few lingering clouds, and I want you to notice if the skies clear up rather early tomorrow morning, we could see some patchy fog. So do keep that in mind for your morning commute tomorrow. Depending on how quick those skies clear up, there could be a little fog as well. But we're looking at relatively cool conditions all day tomorrow up into the evening hours. But as Friday starts to roll around, this area of high pressure is going to start building across the region, and that is going to make for an absolutely gorgeous Friday. That's right. Those temperatures are finally going to get back up to seasonable averages and above once the weekend approaches. As for highs tomorrow, here's how things are shaping up into the 30s pretty much all across the board. Mid 20s along the I-25 corridor, 31 into the springs. So again, still pretty much below freezing all across the charts tomorrow, but at least the sun's going to return and those temperatures will slowly but surely start to warm up for us. Over the next seven days, here's how things play out. Again, we're looking at sunshine finally returning and then a nice steady trend in those temperatures climbing up to about 52 degrees there by Sunday and then looking at that 56 degree mark by next week. Of course, it's going to warm up right as we head back to work. We're looking at right about 26 degrees again tomorrow into Pueblo and then those temperatures are going to start to finally rise back up for the weekend. Again, overnight lows though Thursday still rather chill chilly down into the single digits into Canyon City, 29 degrees tomorrow. Then by Friday, 46 degrees, warming up quite a bit there for your weekend. A lot of sunshine Saturday and Sunday is what we're looking at. Teller County going to be warming up to the 40s by Sunday. Only problem is we can't get out and wash the cars just yet. It's going to have kind of a slush fest out there over the next few days. Oh, but yeah. Once that finally starts to move out of the region, we'll... Uh, We'll be able to get the cars through the car washes, yeah. I suppose. Maybe wait till Saturday or Sunday. Yeah, exactly. Let it dry up a yeah. little bit. Hey, yeah. Thanks so much, Thanks, Jason.